Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a look at the Speedy X Village boots available at Revzilla.com. So what you're getting with the X Village is an urban inspired piece. This is something that's going to be comfort oriented while still giving you protection for your motorcycle. And it's going to give you style. It's definitely going to be a fashion piece, something you could wear on the bike, off the bike, into the office, or out for the evening. So with Speedy, one of the things to note is sizing with the X Village. I am typically a 12 to a 12 and a half in my motorcycle boots. If I translate that over to Speedy's size chart, that puts me in a 47. I size down one full size to a 46 to get this to fit me. So just keep that in mind. If you're using Speedy's size chart, once you figure out your, Europe, your European correlation, size down one size and it should fit you spot on. Sizes are going to range from 40 to 47, and the black option is the color that this is available in. Now, if you're not familiar with Speedy, this is going to be a premium European brand that we've really seen push hard into the American market over the past 12 to 18 months. And traditionally speaking, they're touring apparel, they're race apparel, but now we're seeing them push further into lifestyle pieces. So folks out there on cafe racers, cruisers, choppers can get boots that are going to keep them safe, but they're also going to have a style element infused into this. And that's really what we're seeing with the X Village. Really lightweight design to this, very comfortable boot. Now, if you want to step up to something that's going to give you a CE rating to it, consider the X Nashville boots from Speedy. The X Nashvilles are going to be more of a jump boot style rather. It's going to be a taller boot, covered toe to that, and it's just going to give you a different look, but it's also going to bump you up in protection as well. So breaking down the X villages that you see in front of me. First is the overall construction with this oiled cowhide, 1.4 millimeter cowhide, and then the interior on this is actually going to be done in a 0.8 millimeter cowhide. So it's really interesting to see that they're doing a really soft, supple interior leather as well, oiled laces, and then when you get to the sole, the sole on this is extremely lightweight. Like I mentioned earlier, the boot just has a very light feel to this. There's almost no weight to it whatsoever, and you're going to see this cut sole design. And as we take a look at the bottom, you can see the cuts that work its way throughout, which add a lot of flexibility to the sole itself. And it is a molded sole. So despite the fact that it has a stitched look to it, and it looks like it's a stitched sole, this is going to be a molded sole. And it's a 3 out of 10 on our rigidity scale. So if you're walking around in this, it's going to be an extremely easy boot to walk in all day. Again, really leaning a little bit more towards the comfort than the protection with this particular piece. But you do have the protection in here. You've got light reinforcement at the toe. You are going to have symmetrical shift panels, work with an extra piece of layer on top of both boots. And then when you get to the medial side of this, this is your zip entry point. So you do have a big beefy zip entry to this, so you don't have to use the laces to get in and out. And you can see it's that really kind of a grayscale leather to the interior, but it's got a very soft and supple hand to it. Zipping this back up, there is no medial cup for this. So the ankle protection does not carry through on the inside. You get a lateral cup, light reinforcement at the heel, and then a little bit of stretch bellows working its way up the back to give you just a little bit of extra comfort, range of motion, and then a pull tab to just help pull this boot on and off. Like I mentioned, you do have that protection with a lateral ankle cup to this, and then those oiled laces. Once you have this buckled up, you can really go ahead and use that zip in, zip out entry for a boot that's really going to be designed to be something that is a stylistic piece, but also a comfort oriented piece that's going to give you a level of protection that you might not find in your regular day to day footwear. Now there's a lot of riders out there that are utilizing speedy gear on their rides. And if you want to hear more about what other riders have to say about the X villages that they've been rocking on their rides, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. And what that's going to do, it's going to allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting this boot through its paces. Now if you have more questions for one of our gear geeks, give them a shout, 877-792-9455, or simply shoot us an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the X Village Boots. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.